Hi, welcome to this video. We have now Arch Merge version 6.2.1 installed. We're working from XFCE and this is um, a tutorial about how Arch Merge became rolling and what's the advantage of becoming a role. Well, <clears throat> I was um, uh, very happy to see that we have here Najib who made a completely different look of the i3 blocks with all kinds of colors. And there was a conversation between him and me telling, wouldn't it be great if you could share this configuration? So you can change Arch Merge for us. There are lots of creative people out there. And if you want to share your configuration file, like Najib does, we can put it in our system, in Arch Merge. And anybody else can benefit from the efforts of other people. So that's what we did. We have now a tutorial online as well here at archmerch.com that says changing the look of i3 blocks from somebody else. So somebody else gives you a configuration file. What do you do? And this is an explanation. But we can take it one step further. If I find a configuration file that says, whoa, we should include this one in our Arch Merge distro, then I can, with this rolling release we've now come up with, if we go to the Arch Merge info, this one is uh, all about rolling release and these packages that we have now can be sent to you guys. So Najib made a configuration file, anybody can make a configuration file, share it with me, I put it in a package, everybody gets it. That's the message, that's what I want to get across, and let's do it now. So we have shared it already, and all you have to do is Ctrl Alt T, P K S Y U A, or in this case, this is also enough. Pseudo Pacman Pacman S Y Y U. Get the latest from the repositories and here you see that there is a new arch merge i3 wm git okay yes so we're getting now the configuration file from the jib but you see what i've selected there it's not in your eric control h it's not in your i3 yet it's not in here it should be it should come in here but it's not so where is it then? File system, open a new tab, go to your etc, scale, type it in, scale, put it there where it belongs, because in the scale will be our updates. Anything that's in here that concerns your .config and .local files, here they are. Anything that concerns your root files, this is where we'll update, but that's it. It will not get to your home directory. So if you want to have it, you need to have this complete i3. In this case, the config has changed and we got a new one from Najib, which I called rainbow because of all the colors. So these two have changed. That's because I know, of course, that these two are changed, nothing else. If you don't know, very easy. I keep saying, guys, learn to use Melt. It's so super strong. Let me show what happens. This is your i3. No, yes, no, no. This is not your i3. This is your i3. And in my mind, my setting, I put always to, oh, it's gone. Let's put this bigger. Directory comparison in. There's a left and there's a right. In my right is my original, always. So this is mine. And the other one is from the download. That's that one. So I know this is from Najib, this is the new one, and this is mine. So I compare and we see, oh yeah, I, I tend to change also the dates. So I know that uh, there is a change in the system. So the only thing that changes is our dates. So you say, okay, save it, a date change is no problem at all. That's the only thing that changes complicates things a little bit but down here you see something blue as well here to the left uh, sorry right you see that we have status i3 blocks rainbow config 
So I'm going to add that one. And tree output first monitor is also now with a hashtag. You keep it or you don't keep it. If you don't have two monitors, there will be no problem at all. So what's new as well? This green thing. So this green thing is new and here it is not. So this is coming from the repos from Najib and this one is coming. There's nothing here. So we just say copy to the right and now we can start uh, testing and all the rest just do like this. All the rest are just dates that change. So copy to the right, done. We've now a new i3 system. So we can, we can delete this one, not necessary. I delete close. We have here home eric.config. The only thing I can show you is by actually going to i3. So log off, or log out. And then choose i3 and then I have to tell the system okay go and activate the one from Najib which is in i3 another folder you're gonna need all the time so i3 is here config folder a file is there close this up zoom in go all the way down And this toolbar down here is one of these lines. Option tree is all hashtagged out. It's this one. So I'm gonna try, oops, what did I do? I changed workspace. So all GRR3, that's gone. I need the rainbow one and save and super shift reload. And here we have Najib's look. So now I have also these colors well, there are, um, it still depends about the, uh, of the hardware, what you have. The text keeps coming, but here you go. Where is the file? What did we change? Or did, did we add? This one is a new file. So you can go in here and say, no, I don't like that color. It's an hexadecimal color. You know the tool I always use, Chipic, you know, find your color and scheme generation, see what color it is and copy paste it over. So there you go. And that's, um, that's the advantage of being rolling. I sent you now a file. It goes over or comes over in your ETC scale. You check out, do you want it copy paste just like that or with melt, check each file, what changed and decide for yourself what you take over. And um, there you go, we can now share configuration files from others with all Arch mergers. Thanks for watching. Bye.